Hello all and welcome to the Mug Life DIY. I am Julia and I am so excited that you decided to stop by my channel. And today I have some really fun and easy and super simple DIYs. I am absolutely in love with this first one that I decided to do. Actually, they're all going to be be themed. I don't know why, but lately this year I've just been really, really enjoying bees. That sounds really weird. Um, but just the part and aspect of what bees do or represent, um, a sense of newness and, um, a refresh. I don't know. Like bees have been a kind of just, they make me super happy. So this little sign I hauled several months ago. It was, I believe, a pioneer woman, and it was like summer, and then I got it for the fall, and I don't even think I paid a dollar for it. It's a really thick wooden sign, and I just knew I loved the shape, and I could repurpose it <laughs> into something really fun and different. Now, I had to sand. I actually did break out my real sander other than this little hand sander. And this was the end result when I actually used my orbital sander. Then after I completely sanded off all of that paper, I did uh, probably a full one, maybe two coats of my white chalk paint. I am not liking this paint. I don't know if you guys have tried it. It's the Walmart brand. I don't know. Just wasn't a fan of it. <laughs> then I painted the outside trim that was red into a black. I really wanted a high contrast kind of look going. And then of course my favorite step, I love painting the outside of signs. I feel like it really elevates the piece and steps up just the overall look of it. Now this little metal B guy, <laughs> I don't even know, is from the Dollar Tree in the garden section and I knew I just wanted to brighten it up but also darken it at the same time. So I wanted a more traditional yellow and black color scheme and I think I changed this bee several times but you know I love painting and this was very relaxing to me and really a refreshing time that I just got to be creative and I had a lot of fun <laughs> painting it. So I did several different colors, just kind of fiddling with how I wanted the bead to look. I added several different layers to my piece just to kind of, I don't know, <laughs> make the piece look more real. No, I don't even, it's not even realistic, but just a look that I was going for. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling, y'all. And I just kind of kept painting and I didn't like how flat it was looking. So I did go back with this really fun shimmering color. It's a really fine glitter paint. And I just, I was totally digging it. So I painted the whole bee. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm just going to do the wings. That was my idea at first. And no, nah, no, nah, I, I literally did the whole thing. And I thought it was a little bit plain. I was originally going to do a stencil on the inside, but I changed my mind and wanted to keep these just really simple and kind of more neutral in my normal, typical, a little bit crazy. <laughs> so I outlined the outside just freehanded, um, just a nice, really thick or thin-ish, thin thick, uh, what are we going to call it in between a thin and a thick line on the top and the bottom? And I just think it really made the white and black pop. I don't know. what. <laughs> let me know what you think. And then I just took two little blocks to elevate the B from this sign. And then just glued that bad boy down. And, and then I wasn't liking it. I thought it was too plain. And I'm like, okay, I wasn't originally going to do words. And, uh, but... You know, I was like, I'm just going for it. <laughs> so I took some Dollar Tree letters or stickers. Yes, these are the little stickers. And I just wrote out, be kind. I did have to create another E because I didn't have to. <laughs> and I had to just do the real E, the B, B, E, E. So I used an ampersand and cut it off and created a, another E. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to get a little bit creative when you're crafting. And then after I did that, 
I still wasn't happy, y'all. Like, do you ever get to that point? Like, I just couldn't stop myself. And I don't know. I just kept going. And I'm like, oh, maybe I should have straightened it out. I'm not liking how the gold is just super shiny versus the more flatter colors that I used. And I just couldn't think of what to do, kind of to dull it back a little bit. So I decided to go with that shimmer. I mean, why not? <laughs> so I added some of that little glitter shimmer and just kind of blended it all out and added a little bit of gray tone. I was quite happy. Now this next one is super, super simple as well. So I am in love with this Dollar Tree frame. I actually only bought one, don't remember when I actually bought it from Dollar Tree. Pretty sure it was back before it was the dollar twenty-five tree, so I've had it that long, and it's kind of like this weathered white and gray frame. I'm not sure if it's a brand new frame or old, and they just like brought it back, and I never seen it. So I am going to take some of my scrapbooking maker paraderba. Wow, that was a mumble. <laughs> I had to decide which one of my scrapbooking papers. I was going to use and I ended up going with the gold since in my first project I used the gold and I really wanted to tie this like little section of my upstairs. I have this really gorgeous secretary that I wanted to decorate so I decided to go with the gold one. Um, it kind of reminded me of a beehive but not entirely, not the beehive shape but it was kind of like a little bit of a throwback. I don't know. I don't Sometimes I'm just like <sighs> trying to explain my thought processing process <laughs> processing <laughs> when I'm crafting is like always just a mumble of hotness, hot messness. Oh, wow. See, here we go again. And then I just glue that bad boy down. Now, I don't know if you guys notice that is also from Dollar Tree. It is part of the little spring section. It came with several little pieces, which I want to craft with later on and I didn't do anything to it so that was kind of fun easy and I took three of these little Dollar Tree mirror signs and I have been wanting to do this y'all for so long <laughs> like how easy of a project this is and I just have never done it so I'm like beehive going for it I took three of them and I'm just going to create a larger mirror I thought it would really centralize and kind of focus my pieces together so I just hot glued all of those pieces on now I would probably recommend using super glue um, to do the three pieces together uh, it just didn't quite fit as seamlessly as I wanted so not quite sure how to remedy remedy that other than just to recommend to y'all definitely try if you're gonna do this recreate this project to use super glue and see if that helps adhere the pieces or maybe take the mirrors out while you're gluing them and maybe use clamps i don't know i'm kind of thinking through that process of what would make it just a little bit closer together that's my idea but here they end up i like i said i'm so in love with just the simplicity of these projects i hope you guys get lots of inspirations let me know if you love like the bees i don't know i'm not quite sure if bees remind me of spring or summer or both i just oh, they make me so happy and i'm in love with that with my little corner i want to do more i want to do like a front wreath and i don't know make some more bee decorations <laughs> i don't know let me guys let me know <laughs> if you want to see more bee inspired kind of simplistic diys I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me and I will see you guys next time.